Fandango has released an international trailer for the Michael Fassbender and Alicia Vikander movie, The Light Between Oceans, based on M.L. Stedman's 2012 World War I drama of the same name. The movie is about Tom, played by Michael Fassbender, and his wife Isabel, played by Alicia Vikander, who live in, an isol- who live in isolation as lighthouse keepers on an island off the coast of Australia. When a baby washes ashore in a lifeboat, the loving couple decide to raise her in blissful ignorance as their own. But after they meet the girl's grief-stricken mother, played by Rachel Wise, Tom and Isabel disagree on whether or not to reunite the mother and daughter. Dennis Byers saw the new trailer for The Light Between Oceans. I buy it, though I have to admit, in the beginning, when when the baby comes out in the in the, in the the little uh, boat, I'm like, is this an alternate origin story for Superman? Is this ba- <laughs> is this baby gonna have superpowers? <laughs> And then halfway through, I realized, no, this is actually a drama. And, uh, you know, you got three amazing actors in there. Michael Fassbender, Alicia Vikander, and Rachel Weisz. Definitely interested. I liked the trailer the whole time. I knew it got me engaged because by the end of it, I'm like, give Rachel Weisz her daughter back. Why are you doing this? (laughs) Yeah. uh, It's a huge buy for me because if you you hear that, if you just hear it and don't watch it, and then if you just see the opening frame, you're like, what? hell is this? Another Nicholas Sparks movie? I'm done with this. And then you hear that Derek Seafriend said it. Yeah. The Place Beyond the Pines and and uh, what's the one with the with uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, oh, the Blue, Blue Valentine? Blue Valentine. Uh, those two movies mm. and this guy is he's one of my favorites. I love watching this guy's movies and the fact that he's working with Fassbender, Vikander, and who already have amazing chemistry because they're dating in real life. Mm. And then you have Rachel Weisz I was, with, I'm with you, man. I was watching this movie and I'm like, oh, no way. I found myself kind of going, well, oh, wait a minute. Like you're reacting to it as you're watching it. You're hooked in to the two minute trailer. You are already locked in. And that's what Sia France does as a director, just in that trailer. That's what Vikander and Fassbender and Vice can do to you as performers. I think this is going to be a, a heartbreaker. It's a tearjerker. It's going to do everything that this movie is gearing out to do. Bring the tissues. Oh, yeah. This is a huge buy for me as well. I went through so many emotions watching this trailer because think about it. You're on the, in some abandoned, you're on a beach, right, with Alicia Vikander. <laughs> Sold. Yeah, right. <laughs> then a baby shows up and she wants to adopt it. God damn it. Okay, fine. Yeah. We'll raise the kid. Then the kid's mom shows up. It's like, thank you. Take this thing off our hands <laughs> yeah. and let's go back. But that's not the way these characters are going to play it out. So emotionally, I'm like, no, you're making all the wrong decisions, but I want to watch it. You're right. Derek Sanfrans is a guy who does things very, very well when it comes to drama and milking all those emotions out of a performance and getting me to feel all that crap. So I'm totally on board with this movie. I did not know that they were dating in real life. Yeah. Well, now not only wow. that, you have a uh, uh, Rachel Weisz's character. It's like, oh, she lost her husband. She thought she lost her baby. It's yeah. like, how much more can you make it? Like, push you. Like, okay, give the give the baby. Ah, uh, there's something else there. Yeah. She, there's something <laughs> like she a ain't trick, like us. like like some, like she's lying about it. Yeah, like, she's like a, Annie. She's like a witch or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that would be good. It's a sequel to The Witch. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, it's it's. You, but for me, it really is. Even though, I'm, like I said, big fan of Senior France, big fan of Fastbender. It's watching Alicia Vikander and watching, not just because she's attractive, but the fact that she. Why don't you point at me? I, I think she's a great that, actress. That's what you reference that you creep on the beach. And <laughs> for, for me, for me, it's it's you watch what she just did in the Danish Girl and Ex Machina. I mean, she's one of the best right now. I mean, one of the best, not just up and coming. She is so talented. She stole that movie from from Eddie uh, Redmayne. Stole it from him, absolutely. And to see just just the, the little things and the, what she's going to go through, the range of emotions in this movie. I'm totally on board. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.